guys i know it's been a while but i am back um i just wanted to do this life update video and just tell you what i've been doing for the past two months that i have not been posting pretty much anywhere <laughs> and also uh just update you on my goals and stuff like that while i'm sitting here in the sam's club parking lot waiting for my soap and bath bomb materials so um first things first I'm engaged so um, yes you will not see the ring on my finger because my finger has gotten fat um, <laughs> pre-quarantine that ring was my ring size but it is not now but I will show you a picture of it um, I am so excited uh, in one other video I talked about how I've been with my boyfriend <laughs> fiance now for uh, six years and so he proposed on March what was it March 20 third because it was the day after his birthday so um yeah i'm engaged now getting married next year i'm so excited about that um the next major update i had is um on that goals video i did discuss wanting to get into a store and your girl got into a store i'm so excited about that like granted my sister co-owns the store but it's a store nonetheless and i went down there and you know here's the footage so my big brother drove us down to Stone Mountain Village to my sister's shop, Village Gyms. And of course she came running out the back to hug us because we hadn't seen her in person since the beginning of the pandemic. Here's a look at my charmed bath and body products on her shelves. Village Gyms also has a lot of other handmade products like clothing, purses, wallets, waist beads, candles, and they also hand make jewelry in the shop. And then she also has some of her jewelry that she makes up front. And they also did this awesome thing where all of their vendors got to sign the wall. And of course we had to have the ribbon cutting because my sister is on city council. We had the mayor and other members of city council. I'm so proud of her. So yeah, I am in Village Gyms down in Stone Mountain Village. And since I've seen my stuff on her shelves, I really wanna set my game up when it comes to, you know, putting my labels on straight because sometimes they're a little bit crooked. And I was kind of fine with that when I was sending them out in the mail, but seeing them on shelves is like, girl, that's not, that's not okay. <laughs> so I wanna, you know, get better at that so I'm definitely going to get better at that and then also just overall presentation of my products so that um yeah I will feel confident and whenever I walk into somebody's brick and mortar and my stuff is in there I'm like yeah that's me so um yeah I'm so excited about that so another thing I did in my hiatus is I did a DIY for Etsy so I did their um Instagram takeover for their stories and they put me on their reels and of course their main page um for Instagram doing a DIY of bath salts for Mother's Day and that has that really helped my business a lot because Mother's day was already kind of overwhelming me by myself and now you know it, it it helped even more and I was a little I was a little stressed out but I got it all done and Mother's Day is over so now it's it's more way more calm than it was but yeah that really helped out and how did I forget one of the biggest goals that I had was to move into a bigger space and I moved into a bigger space and I need another space now <laughs> so back in january i didn't really you know put this out because i didn't have everything you know together but um back in january we had to move because i just outgrew the sunroom like the sunroom was just not big enough at all anymore and i loved that little studio but I, we moved into a bigger apartment with a garage and an extra bedroom so the extra bedroom is for my fiance because he needs an office and it was too small for my stuff anyway i was just gonna outgrow that like one month later i'm sorry it is so hot um but yeah so we got that and then so i moved everything into the garage downstairs but yeah i outgrew that so now i'm looking at other places 
and I have high standards not the highest standards because I'm not trying to spend that much money either but basically I want like a flex space so I want like offices and like a little warehouse at the back but nothing like over 2,000 square feet because that's just too big for me for like the next two three years I don't think I'll need anything bigger than that but that'll be with charmed and then also with my YouTube so I can get you know do more um, have more space and feel more confident in my space because right now in the garage I'll show you when I get home but right now in the garage I it is it's dark down there <laughs> and I am a person who needs sunlight and I don't have it down there and I'm down there all day because I still work my full-time job so I just do it all downstairs um, work from home um, but yeah so but I, we did move into that bigger space and it was the garage was great for a minute and then I was just like okay this is it's dark and now it's too small again but yeah um i'm gonna take you home so you can see that garage and all the other stuff i've been up to all right guys so this is my space i'm not doing a full tour i'm just gonna give you a gist of the space but here's my photo booth stuff photography stuff and other stuff that needs to be sold that's my other business that i'll be selling soon um storage stuff that just doesn't have a place and then a bunch of mail crates here because my mail lady uh, drops them off even when I don't have a pickup because she knows I'll need them and she'd rather not have them, which is fine for me. And then here's my little gym area right here. It doesn't get much use. I don't use it every day. I use it probably three times a week. Um, but yeah, so that's the, the front area. And then let me turn around. Okay, so it's about to get real junky. Here's some photography stuff that I just don't feel like breaking down. Some uh, storage stuff, my jars, my tops, other random stuff, molds and stuff and corks. And then shipping supplies and soap that will probably re be rebatched and just given away. Here's some of my ingredients here. Um... And then here's my major workspace. I have my stainless steel tables and shipping supplies right there and back here. And then just random stuff right here. And even though I have shipped to all the 50 states, I do like to keep it up there. Just, you know, motivation. And this is my bath bomb drying rack, which is nothing on there because I did them all. And then my oven and some other stuff and then here's my little office area and I did put some carpet down just because I like to not have shoes on and these two computers are just my actual full-time job so don't worry about those there's my beautiful mommy and my beautiful grandma and my uh, fiance and so yeah it's a junkie but this is life and then here's my soap curing rack only have one thing of soap in there right now because I am slacking. And then just um, the little bit of inventory I do have, I will have to re-up soon. But yeah, there's my bath bombs, bath salts, all that good stuff. Stuff that I haven't even started to sell yet. Giant bowl. <laughs> But yes, this is my little area. So that is my space and I don't ever really have the garage door up, but it does bring in sunlight. So I just thought I'd bring it up for the video, but I do have an air pur purifier down here and also my dehumidifier and a fan and some other stuff that I need. But typically without all that, you know, fan and air conditioning, it stays between 65 and 75 degrees down here, which is pretty good. Um, we are not in the summer yet, so I don't know how hot it will get. But even in the winter time, because we moved in in January, it was 65, or I think the lowest it got was 64 down here. But I do have a heater if need be, but I don't think I'll be here too much longer um, because I know at least by December, I will need a bigger space because it's the holidays. <laughs> and for Mother's Day, I barely had any room. If I can find the picture, I'll put it here. But yeah, the my garage was packed to the brim with boxes and stuff like that. And it's only this empty right now just because I sold most of it. Um, I sold out of a lot of things. And yeah, I'm glad I finally have space to walk around. I had like a little space where I just made between all the boxes to walk through. And this area that I'm sitting in now was trash. Like I didn't want to come down here. But yeah, when I do formulate, I go upstairs because it's um 
I don't know, I just feel like it's cleaner up there. <laughs> but yeah, when I'm formula formulating and most of the time when I make soap, I'm upstairs as well because I don't have a sink down here. So, or a microwave. And oh, <laughs> I only have one plug down here. Um, so it's right over here where the soap, um, no, bath bomb drying rack was. That's the only outlet I have <laughs> for down here, which is the, the most, um, frustrating thing because I didn't know that when we moved in I should have looked and you know <laughs> figured out how many outlets I have but I only have one so I have to like share it between this area and then my workspace area over there so I really don't have more than one thing going at a time because I'm not trying to you know mess things up <laughs> so um but I do love my little area I work my full-time job down here I have my little setup so I'm down here most of the day but it is time to get a bigger space. I'm I'm ready um, by the end of the year. Anyway, I'm I'm very ready. Um, I've been saving up money, so yeah. But the garage is great for right now. I, I'm so happy to have my own space uh, bigger than the sunroom. Uh, but with the sunroom, I had so much sun coming in. And down here, like I said, I don't have the um, garage door open just because I don't want bugs and leaves and all that other stuff blowing in but so I don't have any sun down here and it's only a few lights and because I only have one outlet I do not you know plug in another light except for this one right here and that's only when I have to get on meetings and stuff like that so yeah that's my little area so now that things have calmed down with Mother's Day and you know tax money being spent and them stimmies are gone um, I have more time to dedicate to YouTube because that's what I truly want to do um, of course I love making my products for Charmed and I have another business coming soon but I want to get back to you know creating my formulations and everything and stepping up and getting more advanced for you guys because you guys have asked me for certain videos and I actually have recorded a lot of those and I just never had time to edit them so like the liquid soap video is coming soon actually it should be coming soon after this video because it's already made it's just not edited and I didn't do my you know um what is the word I'm looking for voiceover for it yet so that's coming and then some other soap things and then i'll be teaching how to formulate soon because i've been taking my classes and now i feel more confident to uh you know give that information to you guys um in a more simplified way than i had to learn <laughs> but yeah so thank you guys so much for tuning in and i know i had a few people check on me to see where i was and if i was okay and i really appreciate you guys so much um there's more stuff coming um, I'm off my little hiatus. I'm rested. I'm ready. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.